Emily Chang also caught up with Richard Gingras, his Alphabet's VP of News. They covered how the company is fighting back on fake stories and aggregating top stories to the site. We actually don't make any editorial decisions. This is all done with machines. Uh, our judgments, for instance, in terms of what is the most important story of the day, you could, in a sense, think of it as crowdsourcing editors. We look at what all the news organizations are doing, what they're covering, how they're covering it, and algorithmically, we make a determination as to, as to what the top stories are. So today, if you look at Google News right now, it'll be about uh, the administration's decision with regard to the nuclear uh, deal with Iran. But algorithms and machines are the product of the people who create them. And so, you know, obviously in, in a world of fake news, um, you know, you're focused on prioritizing authoritative sources. You know, how are you making sure the decisions you're making about those choices and sources are the right decisions? Yes, and there too, uh, you know, in, in assessing authority, we use many signals to get to that point. And, and as well, in those cases, we're not making specific decisions about which source is good or which source is bad. We use those hundreds of signals to accomplish that. We use ratings that we have uh, an, an army of people evaluating our results on a regular basis, give them good guidance in terms of how they evaluate uh, specific articles and their level of expertise and authority and reflect that back into our machines so that we can continue to make the best judgments we can as to not only what's the important story at a given time, uh, but what are the best sources to be surfacing uh, to give us the right information about that story. So how would you rate your efforts thus far to combat fake news since concerns about fake news have come front and center? Well, you know, as far as we're concerned, uh, we can always continue to improve what we do. You know, what keeps us uh, awake at night is the trust of our users. So we're constantly evaluating and evolving our approaches to the algorithms, our approaches to security. Uh, we just recently announced, for instance, that in surfacing results against breaking news events, uh, we shift our whole models a bit more towards authority in those times when you know, news is breaking, it attracts many bad actors, uh, and we want to make sure that, uh, that rumor does not outrun fact. So in those cases, we shift even more forcefully towards authoritative sources. But it is an ongoing, in a sense, art and science. As I always say, the algorithms aren't perfect. I'm not sure they ever will be, but it's up to us to continue to evolve them to make sure that we're doing the right thing. The primaries have kicked off. The midterm elections are happening later this year. Is there anything specific that you're doing to prevent misinformation, particularly around some of these political campaigns? you know, given what we saw with the last election. Absolutely. And, and there, too, with elections, uh, I would take uh, the same approach that we're taking with breaking stories. These are important events. They draw uh, bad actors, uh, as, as we know. And so we step up our approaches in those instances to better protect our systems to make sure that we are surfacing uh, the right content, again, whether it's against a search query or whether it's against a specific story about, you know, a, an election in a congressional district in Iowa.